Chapter 27. The story he told now was not about baseball. It was about parents who were drunk a lot and always leaving him on his own. About being put in classes where they just cut paper and played games all day. About a teacher who whispered to a principal just outside the classroom door, this bunch will never learn to read a stop sign. Right then and there, as if to make the teacher right, he stopped trying. The part I didn't tell you about, Bluefield, I was only 15. I ran away. The kid and the old man climbed into the pickup. They made three stops. First, they stopped by the park office at the zoo, where Grayson told the superintendent he just wanted to work part-time for a while in the afternoons. Fine, said the superintendent, just so you don't expect to get paid full-time. Then they went to the library book sale racks and bought about 20 old picture books, such as The Story of Babar and Mike Mulligan's Steam Shovel and The Little Engine That Could. Then they went to Woolworths for a small portable blackboard and a piece of chalk. Within three days, Grayson had the alphabet down pat. The shapes, the sounds. After a week, he could read 10 one-syllable words, but he was reading them from memory. It took another couple of weeks before he began to get the hang of sounding out the words he had never seen before. The old man showed an early knack for consonants. Sometimes he got M and N mixed up, but the only one that gave him trouble day in and day out was C. It reminded him of a bronc, some cowboy dared him to ride in his Texas League days. He would saddle up that C, climb aboard, and grip the pommel for dear life. The good old C, more often than not, it would throw him. Whenever that happened, he just climbed right back on, ride or some more. Pretty soon, C saw who was the boss and gave up the fight. But even at their ornest, consonants were fun. Vowels were something else. He didn't like them, and they didn't like him. There were only five of them, but they seemed to be everywhere. Why, you could go through 20 words without bumping into some of the Shire consonants, but it seemed as if you couldn't tiptoe past a syllable without waking up a vowel. Consonants, you knew pretty much where they stood, but you could never trust a vowel. To the old pitcher, they were like his own best knuckleball, come back to haunt him. In, out, up, down. Not even, not even the pitcher, much less the better, knew which way it would break. He kept swinging and missing. But the kid was a good manager and tough. He would never let him slink back in the showers, but kept sending him back up to the plate. The kid used different words, but in his ears, the old minor leaguer heard, keep your eye on it, hold your swing, watch it all the way in. Don't be anxious, just make contact. And soon enough, that's what he was doing nailing those vowels on the button, riding them from consonant to consonant, syllable to syllable, word to word. One day the kid wrote on the blackboard, I see the ball. And the old man studied it a while and slowly, gingerly, I see the ball. Maniac whooped, you're reading. I'm reading, yipped the old man. His smile was so wide, he'd have to break it into sections to fit it through a doorway. <laughs>